Hello and welcome back to the channel. So we've got a, a new Sudoku puzzle here uh, to solve for you today. Now this one was a one star difficulty rating on Logic Masters Germany. So this should be a little bit easier than yesterday's puzzle if you've seen that. And uh, let's take a look at the rules. So normal Sudoku rules applies. So you know, we need to have the digits one to nine in every row, column, and every box. Digits along pink Renban lines must form a consecutive set of digits in any order. So this set, for example, here has got to be three consecutive digits like five, six, seven, although this will come to in a second. Um, digits in white circles must appear in the surrounding four cells. So let's focus on this cell here. So this has to be one, two, three, four populated in here. And obviously this will compound with the Ramban line. Next, digits may not repeat along either of the two main diagonals. So we've got two diagonals here in the blue line and digits cannot repeat across them. Now, something about diagonals is this is a nine cell diagonal. So it means that we will have all of the digits one to nine on each of these diagonals. And that's all the rules. So let's get to solving this puzzle. Let me just restart the time here and we'll get started. All right, super. Let's just start with the circle ones. These should be fairly obvious. You just fill these in. And because this is an Aremban line, it has to be four. Now, if you think about it, if it's any other digit, let's say it's the digit one, then these two have to be two, three, and somewhere in these four did, uh, cells have to be two, three. So that's clearly not gonna be possible. So that's four, these are not four, and these have to be the digits five, six, because three and lower under four are all taken. And uh, these have to be the remaining digits in the box, seven, eight, and nine. And same here, this has to be a six, followed by a four, five, and these have to be digits one, two, three. This has to be four, followed by five, six, seven. These are eight, nine. This has to be six and joined with three, four, five, and the remaining digits are one, two. Let's just keep going. Uh, so obviously the six here sees the six, five, six pair here. So that's a five, six, that's a five, four, else do we have? Um, so the four, you can see, can see the cell on the diagonal and the five can see it here. So that's a three, five, four, and we can keep going round seven, five, six. can we see so we can take a look at the diagonals we've got one two three four six seven on this diagonal leaving us with five eight nine and on this diagonal we've got seven eight nine six four three so we need five one two in here so the five's got to be in the middle since it's joined and eight, nine pair in there. Uh, column seven, you can see we've got two triplets, a seven, eight, nine triplet, a one, two, three triplet. So what's left for the row, for the column, 
pardon me, it's 456. Do we have anything else similar in here? Uh, no, but I spotted something else. The 2 9 that are here, the 2 has got to be here because we've got a 1 2 pair eliminating it from this column. So the 2 has to go in these two cells, in one of these two cells. Um, let's just keep going. So on the bottom there on the row, we've got 9 8 7 4 5 4 3. So we've got one, two, six remaining. So next I'm thinking about this Remban line here. Um, because this is actually, you know, because we've got this triplet here, seven, eight, nine, it's actually quite restricted. Um, let's think about this for a second. If this is an 8, there will be a 7-9 pair here, meaning we can't have 7. We already can't have 7 anyway. And it would have to be in there. So this can't be 9 because we'll need 8-7 and it can't both be in this cell. So this is not 9. This is 9. And therefore, that's an 8. That's a 9. That's a um, seven nine pair. That is an eight. And where does seven go on the SREM band line so you can join the rest? It's got to be in here. And it can't have a four. So, you know, to have four digits, it's got to be eight, seven, six, five. Can't have a four in here. So the four goes in there. And we're left with six, five, and we even know the order of this. So this is Jason cell three or five. Let's see, I'm just tidy up my pencil mark here. Uh, so we've got a similar situation here where we've got the triplet. So one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine are all gone. So this has to be again four, five, six. This isn't a five. So what can it actually be in here? If it's a four, so it can only be as low as three. Um, it can't be a four because of this digit here. It can't be a five, it can't be a six. So this is either three or seven, it means the five is not here. In fact, the five in this row is in here. Three, seven. I'm just looking at this column here. Um, we need a five, and this five eliminates it from here, and there's no space for five anywhere else, so the five must be in here. This is a one, two Remban line, so the maximum digit that can be on here is a six, two, three, four, five, six. And if there isn't a six, as in this is a one rather than a two, then it, the five is the maximum. So these digits are from one, two, three, um, four, six. So these are not six. That's not four. And that's also not four. The other thing is because we know that the two in this box has got to be next to these cells, that's also not a two. So suddenly this is actually a very restricted set of cells. Okay, let's look elsewhere. Uh, this five here sees this three five pair here. So that's a three. Um, there's gotta be a three in here. Yeah, doesn't really do anything. Must be in here. Should 
I spotted this earlier. So this can't be one or two because they're already taken up by this pair. And what's left for us is a three, four, six. So this is either three, six, and this is three, four, six to complete this box. So anything obvious than just more pencil marking. So we need a five in this row. That's the only place for a five. This has to be seven, eight or nine to complete the row. And we need to have four, Two of seven, eight, and nine. You don't know which four, which seven, eight, and nine are. Okay, that's not very helpful just yet. I feel like to move this forward, we really need to figure out what this Remban line is. And um, just having a think about it. So here is an obvious one. Um, whether it's a one, two, three, four, five, or a two, three, four, five, six, it must have a four. And the only place that the four can be, if I trust my pencil marking, and I do, it's got to be this cell. So that's the four. This is not a four. And that's going to start helping us unwind quite a few things in here. So that's a six, which must be, it's not a five, it's a seven. Um, that's not a seven, seven. It's in here, so that's also not a seven, that's an eight, nine pair. This is the seven, nine, eight, Seven, nine, seven. It's just, it's definitely getting solving almost itself now. It's also not a six, six must be in here. Because you know, you've got a three, six pair here, so this can't be. If we put a six, one would be a three, what would the other cell be? And this is a four, eight, nine to complete, and there's no four in either of these. The four is indeed in here. That's an eight, nine pair, a one, two pair. So we need a seven and a three to complete, and we know the order of this. So the three must be in here, also means it's not here. It's in fact, one, two pair, we need an eight and a nine. Surprisingly, we don't know the order of these. Then a one, two pair, and we also don't know the order of these right now. Where have I not used? So two must go in here. So let's just actually try to decide in a second. So what do we need to complete this? We've got one, two, and a seven. These are not seven, that's the seven. And obviously this has to be the two because of this white circle. So that's the two, that's the one, that's the two, that's the one. That's not a two, that's gotta be the two. Remember the Remban lines have to be consecutive digits. You can't repeat them. So that's one, two, three. It's pretty much solved at this point. And the nine. It's 
we need a 489 set in here. That's a 4, that's an 89 pair. We need a 1, a 6, 6 C's across here. We need an 8, 9, can't be a 9 because again in this box a 9 must be down here. So that's an 8, that's a 9. That's an eight. Eight. And that's nine, eight, nine. And not made any mistakes, a three. 14 minutes, 10 seconds. Yeah, so, you know, that's is very much in line with the puzzle's difficulty rating. Um, not really sure why the name is mitochondria, but a fantastic puzzle from Skojo, Skoyo. Uh, really enjoyed it, and I hope you do too. Um, if you want to join in this puzzle, you've got a link down in the description below. And uh, by all means, please do, and feel free to leave a comment about whether you've enjoyed this puzzle or not. Thank you, and enjoy the next set of videos that will keep coming.